salute what's popping gang welcome to gen x media i ain't even gonna hold y'all we gonna talk about rock versus big k because it was cinema it was a whole fucking movie y'all feel me but first we gotta talk about t-rex oh my god t-rex got busy see some of y'all that don't know or didn't see t-rex in this prom don't know why majority of the culture feel the way they do about t-rex because y'all didn't watch t-rex be the t-rex that's only half a version of the greatness that we knew better than in my opinion is known outside the culture within this culture t-rex that guy let's be clear t-rex built you all out let's be clear that t-rex is dangerous if that t-rex battle Gucci, Gucci better not play with him he gonna get him the fuck up out of here let's be clear performance of the year for me for a lot of different reasons but we'll touch on that another day let's get here let's get to why we here in the first place big k versus tay rock who y'all got to type down in the comments and let me know who y'all got winning this epic battle this instant classic this whole fucking movie martin scorsese couldn't have written it better from the face off to the top of the first round rock brought everything he brought the whole experience the king of the dot the almost fight he brought everything the ad libs he brought everything big k brought everything he took off his hat he turned it into the blue room what we talking about who y'all got to me big k first round was his lightest round he lost that round clear oh but let's talk about the time limit man i ain't trying to hear none of that shit y'all talking about about these time limits you hear me big i'm not trying to hear nothing y'all talking about about these motherfucking time limits you know why you know why because if rock chose to work overtime because he only got paid for the three something he only got let, let, let's let me let me let y'all know that again he only got paid for the three something it wasn't a hard stop it wasn't a hard stop most of the time the ballots decide that yeah y'all ain't know it wasn't a hard stop it wasn't it this is the cutoff point you both of them made that clear both of them made that clear after the battle and if big k didn't have a problem with it why you niggas got a problem with it why y'all got a problem with it we watch mook Mook would still be rapping his third round versus Averb right now. What are we talking about here? When has Lux ever not rapped over five minutes ever? But all of a sudden it's an issue when Rock do it. Get the fuck up out of here. And y'all talking about the dry spots in the third round because y'all ain't get the wrestling bars. Just because y'all don't watch today's product doesn't mean other people in the culture doesn't watch today's product. We knew what he was talking about. It's the same way y'all get those Dragon Ball Z bars and those other cartoon bars and movies that people didn't see and all that shit bars that y'all tell people, oh, you ain't get it. Go look it up. Do the same shit with the wrestling bars. But OK, I could see. But the way that I scored outside of believing that. This is an instant classic, very debatable battle. The culture wins high replay value, high replay value. I didn't watch it three times. All I didn't watch it three times. I didn't even want to bring no notes to do a ball breakdown or none of that shit. I will do that at a later date. I just wanted to enjoy it again within the essence again and react the same way I reacted the first time. That's how you know it's a classic. I don't want to nitpick and pick it apart yet. I will eventually, though. But like I said, I got Rock winning the first clear. The first round is the clearest round for me. I edge Rock the second. Honestly, I can make an argument for Rock in every single round. I can also make an argument for K 
in rounds two and three because of the moments that he created. Y'all feel me? But y'all let me know who y'all got. But I got Rock right now, 2-1, first and the second, to get Big K to the third. This battle was needed. This event was needed. Shout out to King of the Dot. Shout out to all parties involved, including URL, because a lot of y'all forgetting to include them. But if they would have blocked the battle from happening, oh, y'all would have been all on them. But y'all want to leave them out of it. They didn't interfere. They working with King of the Dot. This is what battle rap needs. Not all the drama in between leagues and league owners getting on their platforms and blogging and league owners getting involved on the phone with people having people tell people what other battlers then said. But y'all want to say the culture toxic. No, it's people inside the culture that's toxic, not the culture. The culture ain't done nothing but create opportunity for people. From the battlers to motherfuckers that sit around and talk about it that get paid for it. But truth be told, this event was needed. It's enough in this event for everybody to have something Some sort of content about something to talk about leading into the next event and the event after that and the event after that. Even though a lot of fans gravitate towards the drama, towards the bullshit, all of us don't participate in it. And some of y'all might say, well, we've we seen videos on your channel about the whole easy shit. That's me already reporting what's out there. That's not me perpetuating or looking for anything on anybody that's me reporting what's on out there and even the times that i did that it was my own way and still in a respectful matter as respectful as i can be in those situations there's certain things that i stay away from but moving forward all i want to talk about is battle rap and hip-hop this whole platform is about preserving the culture protecting the culture because too many of you motherfuckers like to disrespect the culture but that's for a whole nother video watch the upcoming video that i'm gonna talk about with this biggie smalls and this transgender being in the music video i catch y'all next time be easy all right <laughs>